This next short video illustrates an exercise used when training sawyers and swampers. There's great value in watching this exercise being performed, but of course, if you want, you can certainly duplicate this exercise on your home unit. Review the sim limb top drop job hazard analysis before commencing this exercise. Follow all chainsaw safety procedures. Did you know that over 90% of chainsaw injuries that occur happen from overhead hazards while cutting? Watch this practice scenario and give it a try. This exercise is called a sim limb top drop or simulated limb. It utilizes a soft simulated limb, a flagpole, a release line, and a chainsaw with a chain removed. In this case, the soft simulated limb are two pieces of foam insulation bundled together. The idea of the exercise is to increase the sawyer's awareness of overhead hazards by looking up and not relying on ineffective warning methods. Check out what can happen. In order to avoid any falling objects, you need to have a clean escape, and that means having a cleared escape route. Take this opportunity to practice cleaning out an escape route. And you, and you can't hear, you can't depend on anything. You lose time when you're depending on somebody else to call it out for you. Uh, you can only avoid those hazards because there's only seconds left. It's a major delayed response. You saw how it hit the ground before the guy even um, realized anything was happening. The whole point is eventually I'm going to have to learn to look up by myself and that's my best chance of survival is for me to look at it and not depend on somebody else. I feel this exercise is very useful in the fact that it is in a control environment, a safe environment, and it lets all of our employees see who are using a chainsaw how quickly a limb can come down and it is life or death and we've seen so many people uh, become paraplegic or lose their life and I want people to really reflect and take this moment and I feel it was very important. For more Simlim Top Drop information, access the Forest Service intranet at the following website.